In this video, I'll be showing you how to use virtual desktops or task view in Windows 10. This is a way to separate sets of related programs and isolate them from different ones. So if you're working with a bunch of programs, you can have just a few and ignore the others. Currently, if I hit Alt-Tab, you see I have a bunch of programs open. And on the bottom, Windows tells me which programs are open with the little bar on the bottom and when I hover over them. To access your virtual desktops, hit the Windows key, which I'll refer to as Start, and then Tab. You can also access this through the Task View button. It's usually already pinned to your taskbar, but if it disappeared, you can right-click on this little arrow, the Show Hidden Icons, or the clock in the bottom right, and then do Show Task View button. Now when you press this button, it gets you to the same place. Right now this looks kind of similar to Alt-Tab because if I click on a program I can switch to it, but it's actually more powerful. All my windows are right now on the same desktop, but I'm going to create a new desktop. Now if I switch to that, notice everything's gone. They're not actually gone, it's just Windows is isolating things and saying here's a completely fresh desktop. Back in Virtual Desktops, I'll switch back to the first one, and then I'll drag some programs onto the second desktop. There goes Snippet Tool and Settings. You can also right click and then move to Desktop 2. Now when I switch to Desktop 2, you can see that only three programs are here on the bottom bar. And when I Alt-Tab, only three programs are in the list. You can hit the Task View button to switch back to the first desktop, and here you have your isolated programs again. Any audio or video you're playing will still pervade through the other desktops, and any multitasking, like rendering or downloading, will still happen. It's just you get to separate your windows instead of having them all jumbled together. Currently, you can't reorder the desktops. Like, I click here and I try to drag to the right, nothing's happening. It's just a kind of a pain. Hope Windows updates that. If I have multiple monitors, this virtual desktop thing comes in quite handy because you can have these three programs, you can have this program on the other monitor. However, you can't simply drag it, like my mouse is stopping right now. If you actually want to move a program, you have to click on that program and then just drag it manually. Now there are some handy keyboard shortcuts for virtual desktops. If you want to create a new desktop, Windows key are Start, Control, D, and poof, now I have a fresh desktop. Start tab gets me back to the desktops. Now I have a third one. I'm just going to close it for now with a little X. If you want to switch to desktops, instead of pressing task view, you can do start control and then use your arrow keys to cycle through your desktops. Start control right gets me to desktop two, and start control left gets me back to desktop one. That's the same thing as doing start tab and then clicking on two. If you want to close the current desktop, Windows key control F4. Watch carefully at the bottom dock to see what happens. It doesn't appear that that much happened, because nothing changed on this desktop, but notice that GIMP and the other programs that were on the other desktop now moved back to this one. Now I press Start Tab, notice that everything is on the same desktop. I'm going to create a new desktop, and drag Settings to it. Closing the desktop is the same thing as clicking the little X right here, and it doesn't close the programs, it just moves them one desktop to the left. Since we only had two desktops, it moved everything to desktop one. Now there are two important settings you can change about virtual desktops. In your PC settings, which you can access from your start menu, go into system, multitasking, and then virtual desktops section. Right now, you see I only have one program on this desktop, and when I alt-tab, I have one program. But if I change this, see all my icons appear. This is for all your desktops. And if you change this option, when I alt-tab, all my programs appear. I just prefer to keep these settings only on the desktop I'm using. That way you can really isolate, because if you leave it on all desktops, you're kind of defeating the purpose of the virtual desktops.